What is up, YouTube? It's Spooky Loops, and I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. Hey, man, can you... Can you not? I recently made a video where I discussed my concerns regarding the last two chapters we received in Dead by Daylight. Now, I will give credit where credit is due. Upon the official release of The Skull Merchant, there were a few quality of life changes that I can honestly say make the killer a little more efficient. Shorter cooldowns, faster drone activation, just to name a few. But aside from the tweaks, she still plays about the same. So for today's video, I wanted to show you a build that I feel amplifies her abilities and picks up the other qualities that she is lacking. Let's make the Skull Merchant actually lethal. I know you're really excited for this video. I know I sure am. Hey, while I got you here, we're really close to 500,000 subscribers. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel as it helps us get to our goal. Thanks. Being that the Skull Merchant gets scaled to a basic killer whenever her drones aren't around, I wanted to find a way to give her a boost in chase. My first perk is Superior Anatomy. Whenever a survivor fast vaults a window within eight meters of me, my next vault will be increased by 40%. To add to this, I will also be bringing Bamboozle. After I fast vault a window, the entity will block the window behind me for 16 seconds, shutting it down for the survivor and also giving me an additional 15% speed increase, bringing us up to a 55% faster vaults. Now the Skull Merchant has tracking and a form of stealth, but I felt that we can crank those abilities up to a higher level. That's why I chose to run with Nowhere to Hide. After kicking a generator, all survivors that are within 24 meters of me will be revealed for five seconds. But that's not all. With that kick, I'll also be proccing my last perk, Trail of Torment. Once the gen is kicked, I become undetectable until I injure a survivor or the generator stops regressing. This gives me a way to remain stealthy whenever I'm outside of the range of my drones. Speaking of drones, let's crank those too. My first add-on is Advanced Movement Prediction. Any survivor that enters the radius of an active drone will have their aura revealed for 6 seconds. Being that drones have faster activation time, this actually works out great whenever a survivor tries to loot me at a common tile. And for my last add-on, I'm going to be bringing Randomized Strobes. Also, when a survivor enters an active drone radius, they will become hindered by 5% for 3 seconds. So we have means of boosting our chase potential, multiple ways to track, and punishment for any survivor that steps into a drone's radius. I don't know about you, but I think it's time to go sell some skulls. Okie dokie, we're on RPD. Let's take a look. So we know that, you know, the main room probably has the most traffic. So I think what would be best is for us to set up a drone there and then kind of get an idea of what we're gonna do for the rest later, right? Oh, from the top bunk, let's go, dude. Set up this one here. Now being that James already injured, I'm pretty much gonna go on pallet control at the moment. I'm probably gonna lose this one. No, greedy, I love it, buddy. A little 180 Deluxe. If we can interrupt this drone, get a claw track on him, perfect. And they're gonna be on it. They're gonna be uh, what should I call it? Exposed. So as long as you set up a drone, really, really close to a survivor, you see them going to try to go in and tamper with the drone. You go ahead and immediately go for them. Perfect. Two hooks, really, really fast. And our drone's gonna come back right back to us. Okay, looks like they got a gen done in the courtyard. These these hooks are way too close. So I'm not gonna set up a drone here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go set up a drone probably right here on this gen. Ah, James. All right, set up the drone there. Perfect. What's up, buddy? Set up a drone here, see if I can just play with him here. Now I'm going to be able to see his order for six seconds so I know exactly what he's doing. Immediately going to leave. Nice. Recall our drone. And we'll chase normally. He's running right back into that one. Perfect. Let's see exactly which way it's going. And him being hindered for three seconds is also going to help us out too. Activate the drone on that side. Or we're staying the chase here. So far, so good. Even though they're injured, it's not a big deal because we at least go see where they are, right? I'm going to be undetectable. Just like that. Perfect. And as soon as the deed is done, go ahead and recall the drone. Immediately comes right back to your Pokemons. Looks like somebody deactivated one of my drones. Now, that's really the only time. Quick little second to see where they are. Perfect. They're going to be here. Now, this is really only the real time you're going to be using her uh, a locator mechanic thing, I guess you could say. Good hit there. All right. We know James over here. I'm going to try something sneaky. I'm going to go kick this Jen. First, I'm going to hit Jen. I'm going to hit James. And I know I have a claw trap on her for a little bit longer. I'm going to go undetectable and see if I can cut her off somewhere. She's right above me. <laughs> Perfect. Just like that. And that's a cool way that you can use the Skull Merchant being undetectable while you have someone with a claw trap on. James is also injured. Activate this one as well. Perfect. 
I'm going to be undetectable and make him guess where I'm coming from. That's superior anatomy. So let's go ahead and vault this. Super duper fast. And he's going to slow down the entire time too. <laughs> Nicely done, bro. Nicely done. Activate this one. Any amount of hinder we can get is always good, right? But that's one of the downsides to the Skull Merchant is even though they're already... They're already, um... It, you know, injured, the exposed status effect really doesn't do anything. So you gotta find means to use your drones in other ways to make the best out of a bad situation, right? Oh, perfect. Halita, there's one right here. I'm gonna go and use Bamboozle to vault a little bit faster. Alright, we got her about 50% of being marked. Let's see if we can finish it up here. Oh, that's huge. Almost there. Almost there. You know what, at this point, I think it's better just to hit her like normal. Break the pallet. Activate these drones while we can. We retain pressure here. All right, that gen seems to be okay. Perfect. All right, good job, drone. You did your duty. All right, someone is someone is near me. I think with a flashlight. Yeah, 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 yeah. And also, uh, James is super close to being marked. Elite is dead. That's a stagger. Over hit there. All right, where is James at? That's what I want to find out. Oh, gotta love that trail torment. No way out. I know where to hide. Perfect synergy there. All right, we're gonna lose this gen. That's okay though. Let's make our way to the back section because we have a lot of gens over here. Where are you hiding, David? There he is. All right, he's gonna vault that. On the way for the save, this should be an. E he may be able to not be able to get the trade. Yeah, he's gonna reassure him. It's fine. All right, let's go get you up. Superior anatomy and bamboozle ready to go. Excellent. Claw trap on this cat here. All right. We'll throw up another drone. We can always see exactly where he's going. Let's recall this one because there's no reason for it to be over there. And now this is where the scroll merchant really, 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 really comes into, comes into play here. The street gen is not the tightest, but it can definitely work. That's for sure. Nice for bloodlusting. This is fast. Let's go up and uh, try to come off on this side. Nice. Down just like so. Victoria was able to go in and get his claw trap off. Let's go throw one up here. See if we're skating anybody. Let's start playing around our drones now being undetectable. Alright, it's marking somebody. I think it's this. I think it's this one down here. I remember us being undetectable is gonna linger for a little bit longer when we come out of there. Now, it's going to be a really, really interesting sound with my terror radius kind of being all over the place at the moment. All right, he's marked. Where's he at? All right, he's, he's at main. Perfect. I'm going to give a kick and see if I can find the uh, Vittorio anywhere. Meaning that we have so many marked, we can go ahead and use our power to kind of be undetectable here for a little bit. Oh, that's huge. That's so big. That's perfect. That is so big. And this is going to be a second hook, which means we're not going to have to worry about finding the hatch just yet. Oh, wow. Let me track Vittorio, too. He's right below me. He's over here. Right in this gym below me. Let's set up a drone. There he is. Well, it's a one versus one. I think we did pretty well there. One gen remaining. If he finds hatch, so be it. More power to him. But we have some traps along the way. Hopefully, we can slow him down. Perfect. Good hit there. That drone's gonna activate. Keep an eye on him for six whole seconds. And I'll remain undetectable the entire time behind him. Oh, those traps were evil. Really good, Dead Art. Holy cow. That's incredible. Where you going, bud? 
Oh, the hatch is right there. Good for him. Really good error. That saved his ass. Nonetheless, I think we did a really good job. All right, let's try it again. Okay, we are on the new redesigned Mother's Dwelling. You know what? Like, graphically, they added a lot more agriculture and made it look really pretty, but I think it's the same size, if I'm not mistaken. So, with no gen defense or slowdowns, this is going to be uh, this is gonna be an absolute treat. All right, let's run Shaq. Let's do it. I'm down. I'm always down for a good time. I get this pallet now, please. No, all right. I'm going to use Superior Anatomy for another chase. Let's go. I don't think it'd be a bad idea to let them use uh, some of the do some of the gens that are in the other portions of the map. Push their focus more inward towards me. I'm gonna go this way, actually. Perfect. That worked out just fine. No E. All right, down you go. I think this knee is like super close to me still. Yeah, insta pull. Okay, cool. Let's go after you. Let's go after you, big boy. All right, fantastic chase. All right, I think you broke a world record on that one. Go ahead and deactivate that drone. That's fine. We'll put up another one right immediately right after that. And that claw trap's going to be on here for a little bit longer, as you can see. She's still up there above. Let's head over this way. This would be a good time to use Trail of Torment. Try to see if we can remain undetectable for a little bit. Cut him off on this side. Then we'll see his aura right again. Nice. Now, I am a true predator. Hey, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Then hey, he's going to be hindered for three seconds. Definitely can help us out and chase. Yeah. Down you go, big boy. Let's go and get rid of this guy. And let's go ahead and get rid of this. All right, two just done. This is going to be our third hook. So bad, I guess. All right, Jane, where art thou? Ooh, okay. Right over here. If I can interrupt this, that'd be huge. Oh, looks like she got it off. Do I have another drone? No big deal. Got a lot of value out of Trail Torment, though. My sweet friend, where art thou? Balance landing. Nice, very nice. We're slowing down so they can help us out a little bit, too. I'll superior an enemy right after her. There we go. Superior Nami Bamboozle. Love that. I think the Neo's probably going to pull off that gen to go for a flashlight save. But maybe a little too late. Nice. Yeah, they're all here. Excellent. I don't think she wiggles here, brother. She does wiggle here. Wow. That's actually incredible. Okay. Let's try that again. All right. Let's try that again. Perfect. Like the longer you stay, the longer that's gonna hurt up there. Nice. Okay. Fourth up. Here we go. All right. Where are you hiding? Okay. He's way over there. Okay. Two gins remaining. They're a little bit closer, so hopefully we can make this work here. I'll throw a drone on this side. Let's see if we can find this cat. Where are you hiding, Bo? Superior enemy. Bamboozle. Oh, so close, but so far. Activate the drone. Right, just spell it. Ah! Really good at art. Should have waited on that one. Ah! Alright, we'll break chase from him. Get everyone a little injured. Light up this drone here. Right, he's going way out in the distance, but they do have a boon. If I go on that chase, I'm, I'm afraid that I'm gonna I'm gonna lose him, which is not ideal. Somebody's super close to me though. This cat, there you are. It's better you probably just leave, right? Makes the most sense. Oh, he got fat shame too. Welcome to the game. All right, got a down one there. Perfect. All right, there's a couple of drones that we need to get rid of. Uh, this one will recall. Let's activate this one. And let's see what's popping over here. Nice, lots of progress here. Yikes. All right, now let's go back to hunting. As long as I can stay on her trail without her paying attention, we should be getting a sneaky hit here. Ow. 
Excellent. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is the this is the one that has dead iron. Yep. We're not gonna fall for that again. This map is definitely a little bit more challenging than than what we're used to, but let's see if we can pull it off. Ten percent off the top. Lovely. Set up a drone. Give us a kick. And we're not gonna be undetectable, but at least we're gonna be able to have uh, some ore reading abilities, which is lovely. All right, start girl Jane. All right, let's slow her down a little bit. Let's light this one up too. Keep this whole main building as slow as possible. Oh, that skybox cucked me. I knew she had balanced. That's right, we're, we're still in pursuit. We're still good. No, you don't make that. Not in a million years, buckaroo. Nope, you're not getting that either. He's got our flashback. I'm gonna take him over here. I think he may have breakout if I'm not mistaken. Okay, our chase music has died, which means he's no longer here anymore. Perfect, let's get you up. And that's gonna be our first kill. Lovely. There's definitely progress up top. I wanna go uh, undetectable here and use no way to hide. Try to see if we can find somebody. All right, anybody home? Yes, all this is gonna be perfect. True predator there. Let's do it. All right, so we were able to maintain being stealthy that entire time. Let's go in and get this guy up. Perfect. Spoon's gotten way too much value. We need to snuff it. Okay. So what do we have left here? That's regressing. Main is regressing. And I have one over here, and I have two drones on me. Okay, this is definitely doable. They just finished the other one. Well, they finished all of them. Okay, yikes. Let's have a drone here, then. All right, let's see if we can play for keeps now. Let's recall this drone. Oh, all of them are here. I see, done. Good blind. Okay, so I the, there's one drone that I have on a door, and the other one I do not. No way you make that. Maybe E? Yep. Okay, we need to go and get her up on a hook ASAP. I want to find this other guy. The problem is the doors are so far away. So very far away. Nothing there. I think I'm gonna go set up a drone here. All right, let's head back to our let's head back to our hook. There's a save. No door's been touched yet. Looks like scratch marks leading to the back of the little shack. Our little house. Perfect. Here's where not though. This is gonna be a hit for sure. He's gonna try to blind me with this flash grenade. That's fine. Pay attention to where he's going. I have one drone here. I can use to try to slow him down a little bit. Perfect. Okay. Looks like she barely interacted with something. I'm not sure though. All these drones seem to be okay for the moment. Oh, she got a door open. Million dollar question, is she actually going to come for it? It's a question. She opened the furthest door. She actually here. She went for the save. Okay. So if they come to this door, we'll go and light this guy up. And we'll stay stealthy here. See if we can catch her on the way out. We're only probably going to get one, but that's okay. Oh, we may, we may get both. No, we're not. We're grabbing her, though. Oh, excellent. We have a hook here. That stealthiness worked out really good for us. All right, let's go. We got them both. <laughs> Sign me up. Let's go, dude. Love that. Mother's dwelling. That actually worked out pretty well in that drone. Woo, all right. One drone to rule them all. That's a good little drone. Good job. Well, we've used literally everything in that round. That was awesome. My friends, that is my take on trying to make the Skull Merchant as lethal as possible. If you like this video, please make sure to leave a like, as that engagement definitely helps YouTube push this video to a wider audience. And you know what? While you're here, why don't you go ahead and check out some of the other videos I made, like this one, for instance.